Okay, negative 8 times negative 12. Negative 8 times negative 12. That's a negative times a negative, which gives, you might remember that gives positive. The question is why? Well, let me put it to you this way. Let's say your bank charges you a fee, a monthly fee of $12. Okay? Just because you're um, your account balance isn't high enough or you've signed up for a bill feature or something but there the bank is charging you twelve dollars every month now you don't find out about this until August so that's eight months after it began in January and you call the bank and you say hey this isn't fair I didn't know about this could you please cancel these monthly fees that I didn't know about and I don't want to use that feature that that, that you're charging me for and believe it or not they say yes we'll cancel it we'll take away those eight bills of twelve dollars each do you feel happy if the bank cancels takes away they subtract they subtract all of those bills all of those debts do you feel happy if a bank takes away all those debts that you've already paid that would be like them giving you money because they've been taking out twelve dollars from your account for eight months and now they're going to cancel all of those debts so to cancel it they have to give you the money back right so taking away eight bills is just like giving you eight times twelve ninety six dollars isn't it Right, so that's one explanation for why a negative times a negative is in fact a positive.